Hi guys, RG Handhelds here. Uh, welcome to another video. Uh, today we're going to take a look at the Retro Boy. Now this one's a bit of a... It's not actually released yet. Uh, the guy that's on our Discord, RG Handhelds, um, he makes these specially made. He's kindly sent me a sample, so thank you very much for that. Uh, I'm just going to go give you a quick lowdown on the specs. So um, it's Retro Boy SC. It's a modular case. Uh, screen is optional. Uh, 4.3 ratio, 3.2 or 16.9. It's got a Snapdragon 855 or an 865. Uh, obviously the RAM's phone dependent. Uh, storage phone dependent again um, and obviously it has a micro SD card I think this particular one has a 128 gig card uh, battery will be phone dependent as well uh, retro boys told me that he has the following models built already LG 300 with snapdragon 800 5.2 inch with a 4.3 screen ratio uh, we got the Mazui 15 with a 660, uh, 4 gig and 128 gig versions. You got the Sony XZ1C with 835, uh, 4 gig or 32 gig internal. Or you got the MI6 with the 835, uh, the Mazui 16S Pro, which is this particular model. Uh, it has a Snapdragon 855 in it. Uh, I believe it has 8 gig of RAM. Um, and he also does a Redmi K20 Pro um, with the 855 chip in it and Samsung S20 Plus. So these are all the ones he has ready um, that you can put that particular phone. Because the concept of this thing is. I'll show you in a minute. Basically a phone with a very nice shell that's been made for it. As you can see, it's 3D printed. So you got all the controls here. L and R and the R buttons, power. Um, I think this I'm not too sure what that one is, but I'll find out. So you got your buttons, Vita joysticks, Vita D-pad, start and select. Assume these are volume. And there you go. Retro Boy SC. Not sure what this switch is here, but I'll have to find out about that as well. Maybe to release the case could be, but then again, you have four screws and these. Let's go ahead and power this baby up. As you can see, it's made by Mizui, the phone, Snapdragon 855. I have to say, it feels extremely comfortable. I could have done with the deep uh, the analog stick actually down here and the D-pad up there, but hey ho. Um, but still comfortable to play with. Feels nice in the hand, very firm, uh, solid. Uh, has a 128 gig card actually in the phone inside, so. Yeah, plenty of storage there. As you can see, straightforward Android UI. So you'll feel right at home there. It's got a few emulators on here. Drastic, PSP, Dolphin, Nintendo 64. Um, I'll do another video with uh, some gameplay. Uh, but for now, I just wanted to show you the device. Um, very interesting device. Here's your speakers on the top, just right there. Yep. <clears throat> it's 
So what I'll do, I'll have a few gameplay videos soon, uh, so you can check out the performance. Pretty sure it will do Dreamcast, maybe some GameCube. Um, thanks again to Retroboy for sending out this sample. Thank you very much. I'll get some videos done shortly. Um, and thank you guys for watching. There you go, the Retro Boy.